Hi, I'm Gregory LaPaul from Game of Nation. I'm here with Andy from Square Enix, and we are here to talk about Heroes of Ruin. Yeah, but it's basically like Diablo, like Torchlight, those kind of games where you're running around, like killing your enemies, collecting loot. Uh, there's a pretty good backstory behind this game, just like those other games where uh, you're one of four different mercenaries, you're in the city of Nexus, and you're on a quest to try to find a cure for a uh, mysterious disease that's afflicting them. Now, uh, we played the game, there was two classes, there was Gunslinger and Vindictor. Is there anything else you can tell me about the other classes, like going to be mages, um, elves, like what other, other classes can we expect? Um, like you mentioned, there's a Vindicator class, sort of the sword building guy, and the Gunslinger class who uses guns. Um, the other two classes will actually be revealing later on in our, uh, in our promotional campaign, so if you stay tuned, you'll find out a little about them all about them. But if you look at our key art piece up here, um, you can pretty much figure out what they are. I can't give all the details just yet, but you'll find out soon. Okay, now uh, you told me there's drop-in and drop-out multiplayer. So now, what can you tell me about that that our viewers want to see? So the multiplayer functionality of Heroes of Ruin is uh, very, very robust. You'll have local multiplayer for guys who are just sitting in the room together. You can also have online multiplayer over the internet. On top of that, there's also going to be voice chat. So if you're playing with a guy or a buddy who's on the other side of the world, you can talk with him, coordinate your attacks, and have a good time with that. Um, for the other online connectivity features that we've got in this game, we're also going to have a DLC, a very strong DLC campaign. Basically, we're going to have uh, something new available every day, for about a, every day for about a year after the game is out. So uh, there'll be new quests, new, uh, new pieces of loot that you go out and collect. But we really want to keep the game fresh for our customers, so we're going to be giving them new content for a long time. All right, now, uh, yeah, how, many, how many hours of gameplay can we expect from this game? Is it going to be like 20 to 30 hours, or is it short, long? How, how long are we expecting? Um, to play through the main game, it'll be about 10 hours per character. So there are four different characters, so you can add that up and get about 40 hours of total gameplay. Uh, but beyond that, like I mentioned, there'll be new DLC that's coming out um, every day for about a year, so it'll keep the game fresh. Um, beyond that, there's a lot of dynamic features in the game. The maps are dynamically generated. All the loot is sort of dynamically generated as well. So you can keep on playing the game over and over again. And you'll never have the same experience twice. Okay now. okay, now, Parker, I noticed that you have mana in the game, which is magic for a lot of people that don't know that. So what can you tell me about the magic skills that you can use in the game? So each of the four character types has uh, three different skill trees that you can, uh, that you can progress through as you uh, level up your character. You can unlock new skills, like the Vindicator class that is in the demo here today, for example. We uh, gave him uh, sort of a charging stun attack that uses up a little bit of magic. And you can also unlock other special attack moves. But since he is sort of like this noble knight type of character, there are other types of magic spells that you can unlock. One sort of this healing circle thing where if you use, uh, if you unlock that skill and use it, you and your buddies can get in there, heal your health a little more quickly, and uh, get better and get on with your with your adventure. But uh, like I said, each of the each of the four character classes has three different skill trees, a whole bunch of different skills you can unlock. So when you get in there and check them out, you'll have a good time. All right, Parker, I want to say thanks for taking the time out to talk to Game Fit Nation. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at GameFitNation.com. Gaming and health.